Hi, this is Jason, the owner of Yeldell Scientific. Today we're going to showcase how you can use Excel Point of Sale to implement customer loyalty and rewards programs for your business. In this very quick example, I have the Excel Point of Sale set up so that I can sell candy as if I'm a candy store. So I'm going to go to my inventory by clicking on View Inventory. And I can see that I currently sell three different items, Skittles, Snickers, and Kit Kats. If I want to add one of these items to a customer loyalty program, meaning that if customer Y comes into my store and orders five of these items, every fifth item I want to be free. You can do that very easily with Excel point of sale. So let's set that up for Skittles. I'm going to select Skittles. It's going to let me know that a customer loyalty program does not yet exist for this item. And it prompts me to uh, basically answer the question of, do I want to create a customer loyalty program for this individual item? I'm going to say yes. And it automatically creates that customer loyalty threshold with a default value of 10. Now, that customer loyalty threshold or the loyalty counter is the number of items that a customer can buy uh, until they get a free item. So if a customer orders 10 Skittles, 10 uh, packs of Skittles, that 10th item is going to be free. So I can increase or decrease that uh, to my liking. So let's say that I want my threshold for just example purposes to be four. So every fourth pack of Skittles that that customer buys is going to be free on the house. So I'll select save and it will actually save that loyalty program to the system and Excel point of sale very easy to use. So I'm going to cancel out to go back to the main menu. And now I'm going to go through the process of adding a sale to the system. So we can assume someone walked into my store and they want to pack it, uh, purchase packs of Skittles. So I'll select new sale. I'll log in as myself. And then I'll be presented with the Excel point of sale screen that everyone knows and loves. So at this point in time, um, I can choose to enter a loyalty barcode number or some sort of loyalty ID for each individual customer. So the assumption being, if you're implementing a loyalty program, that you currently have some sort of mechanism in place for your customers. So you may have different uh, ID cards that you give your customers They have that may have barcodes on them that represent each customer, or each customer may be looked up via their phone number or some sort of special ID number that represents each customer within your establishment. So before I even begin the sale, I'm going to search for a loyalty ID number. Let's say that a customer comes in and they say their loyalty ID number is L12345. But you, that could be a barcode ID. It could be anything that represents that customer. It could be their phone number. I'll select search. And if that customer profile doesn't exist within the system, it lets me know as it's doing right now. And I can then create one on the spot. So let's say yes, I'll create a customer loyalty profile for that barcode ID or whatever it is. And let's give the customer a name. Let's just put myself in the system. And let's say that this is my phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And my loyalty ID I'm going to create as one, two, three, four, five. L one, two, three, four, five. I can put in my email address, you know, whatever it is, and any other information you want to collect for that individual customer. And that information is now saved into the system. So now, let's say that someone wants to buy six packs of Skittles. Now, because we set up a loyalty program for Skittles, we know that every four, the fourth item is always going to be free. So I'm going to select Skittles. There's the first one. We can see that it was added to the sale. There's my second one, added to the sale. Third one, also added to the sale. Now my fourth one immediately Excel point of sale recognizes that, okay, the threshold was met. We set a threshold amount of four items. So this fourth item is now going to be free. We click OK and we can see that it was automatically added to the sale with a price of zero. This is amazing and very easy to set up with Excel point of sale. Now just for demonstration purposes, let's click Snickers. We can see that goes in. I can order as many of those as I want because those are not set up as part of the customer loyalty program. So for any given week, month, or year, you can pick and choose which items you want to be part of the customer loyalty program. So let me go back to Skittles. Let's say that within the same sale, they choose to buy some more Skittles. I'll select one, two, three, 
four. That's my fourth one again, and immediately it lets me know that they've reached a threshold, and good for them, that one's gonna be free. And we can verify that by scrolling down within our orders, we see that this fourth instance of Skittles has a price of zero. Very easy to use, very great, very convenient. Our customers and clients love this functionality with Excel Point of Sale.